We're going to be taking a deep, deep dive into the numbers on two multifamily properties in the Cleveland market. Vincent from Pasadena, California. This is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm your host, James Wise, behind the scenes, my man Tommy, cutting up the footage, bringing you guys the fancy charts and graphs in today's show. Today's show is for my client, Vincent. Vincent, you are a software developer out there in Pasadena, California. And you've got $40,000 cash that you'd like to use as the down payment on a multifamily property. You've already reached out to me to get my list of lenders, so I have sent those to you, and you are currently getting pre-approved as we film this video. Uh, anyone else, when this goes live on Holton Wise TV, probably 60 to 90 days after I sent it to Vincent, you can just send us an email, sales at holtonwise.com. If you are interested in getting our list of lenders that we sent to Vincent, you can get the same list. These are lenders writing 30-year loans, fixed interest loans, low interest, tax deductible. This is the very best type of debt you can get. That's why I think real estate investing, rental property investing is the best investment vehicle to set yourself up for retirement or, uh, you know, subsidize uh, subsidize your income at your day job, right? What you don't want to do is get into rental property investing because you hate your job and you want to quit your uh you quit. You hate your job. You you hate your boss. You hate your job. You want to quit it next week. That's not a good. Uh, that's, this is not a good business for that, right? This doesn't, you know, replace that income. You need that W two income so you can get these loans. That's the better way to do it. Now, Vince, you are interested in C or B class multifamily, so I've brought you one of each. The first one just got listed four days ago, listed by a Coldwell Banker for $86,900. 2045 West 101st Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. We shall cruise through the photos. Now, one of the units is occupied, the other one is vacant. What I love about this particular property is it is a side-by-side -side duplex. Now, you see that this vacant unit looks pretty clean. It doesn't look like you really need to do much to it. Whenever you have the opportunity, Vincent, to buy a duplex, if you can get yourself a side-by-side -side duplex as opposed to an up-down duplex, you need to take that opportunity and run with it. Side-by-side -side duplexes are going to reduce your tenant turnover. They do this because there's nobody living above you or living under you, right? All that noise, all that BS, it's it's it's. It's not ideal, right? It makes tenants get upset with each other, neighbor disputes, these things, they happen and folks move out. In addition, the basement in a traditional up-down duplex like we have many, many of here in the Cleveland market, the tenants have to share a basement, right? So that means the only thing they do down there is just houses the furnaces, hot water tanks, and uh, it houses the laundry facilities, right? So the tenants, they bring in their own washers, their own dryers, but both tenants are able to get down there, right? So you got dirty clothes from your neighbor. You don't want to see that nasty stuff. Or, you know, sometimes they would steal each other's detergent. We've even had, you know, some creepers steal panties from uh, female tenants. So it's a whole big mess. You get yourself a side-by-side -side duplex like this. There's actually two separate basements, two completely different spaces. So anywhere 
that you've got the same tenants, you know, two different tenants sharing facilities. It's a problem. It leads to more turnover. More turnover leads to costs. Turnover is the biggest return killer in this industry. So the fact that this is a side-by-side, -side, I really love it. Now, as far as the rent roll, each unit, three beds, one bath. They are currently renting the one unit way, way under market value at 575 The other unit looked pretty clean, pretty crisp. That, we could easily get a tenant in there at Seven fifty a month. So right off the rip, you could be bringing in thirteen twenty five a month or fifteen thousand nine hundred. As for the price, they have listed at eighty six thousand nine hundred. I would like to see you pick this up at eighty thousand dollars. I'd like to go in there, start the bid, maybe like high 70s, like 77, 78, with the objective to close this thing out for you at $80,000. If we did that, what would the numbers look like? What would our returns look like? Well, we bring in thirteen twenty-five a month. Repairs, maintenance, vacancy, non-payment, CapEx, 66 bucks a piece is what we are going to budget for all of those. Now, it's important to note, that repairs and maintenance, right? You're not spending $66 every single month. It's like you're spending nothing, 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 and then boom, you get hit with like a big three or $4,000 turnover. Or you're spending nothing, 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 and then boom, you gotta put an $8,000 roof on. Or nothing, 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 boom, $3,000 furnace replacement, right? Roofs, they're gonna last 30 years, cost you probably a big old property like this, probably seven, eight grand. Furnaces, you got two of them in this property, they're gonna last you approximately 30 years, they're gonna cost about $3,000 to replace. Hot water tanks, they last about 15 years and they cost a grand to replace. As far as the age of some of your fixtures, we don't have much information provided to us by the listing agents. So I would assume, it's very, very safe to assume that they are mid to end of life. So that's why it's incredibly important you budget that. So when I give you your net operating income estimate expense, you got to understand that more often than not, there's probably more money actually coming back to you every single month, but I don't want you to consider that income. Don't think you're going to be buying a boat or taking your wife out to dinner with that money because you need to save that money for when those furnaces finally do break and you got to drop three grand or when it's time to replace that roof and you got to drop seven or eight grand or when it's time to replace one of those hot water tanks, and you got to drop a grand. That's what that money's for. Moving on, taxes 142. Insurance should be about 80 bucks a month. Click the show notes below. Anybody watching who's got a rental property anywhere in the United States of America, we also own a farmer's franchise and we work with many providers of insurance, a lot of unknown insurance providers you guys have never heard of. We are affiliated or appointed with many of them and we are bringing you guys some of the lowest rental property premiums because of that, of course, is all we do. We don't want to insure your fancy house out there in California, but we do want to insure your entire Entire rental portfolio so anybody watching click that link to get a quote we will probably be able to lower your premium on any of your rental properties water sewer should be about 150 lawn care should cost you 44 dollars a month on average now we're not cutting the grass 12 months a year here we're only cutting it about 18 times and we charge 33 34 bucks a cut so it'll average out to 44 a month property management 132 so i anticipate you spending on average 746 a month won't be like that every month won't be like that every year but if you had a bunch of properties just like this one if you had 100 of these properties and you owned them over the course of 30 years that's where i think your numbers would average out to that's based upon my experience of selling over 150 million dollars worth of this stuff so 746 is our average expenses per month, meaning we bring home on average 579 a month or $6,948 a year. So if you are able to do what I want you to do and pick this up, 80 Gs, right? You would have an 8.7 cap. Your mortgage down payment would only be half of the money you got, right? You got 40 grand. You'd only need half of that. So $20,000 would be your down payment. $60,000 would be your mortgage. Your mortgage payment would be 304. That'd leave you 275 a month on average. That, Vincent, is a 16.5% cash on cash return. So that more than accomplishes your goals. Now, a couple things to note. Number one, I did not include a repair budget. That unit is totally vacant right now. It looks pretty clean. It looks pretty crisp. But I, I, I can't tell you how much it's going to cost. 
uh, renovation wise to get stuff done. I don't think you need to do like a big renovation or I would have told you uh, I'm estimating five or six grand, something like that. It looks more or less moving ready, but you know, I'm just looking at the pictures here online. You're going to want to get a private third party home inspection number one. And then before Holton Wise puts any new tenants in the property, our maintenance team is going to go in there. Of course, we're going to have to change the locks um, after you close, right? Because who knows who's got access to the existing locks. And then when they're in there, they're going to bid out everything. We're going to do a safety checkup and inspection. We're looking at everything, man. We're looking to make sure every single window opens and closes. We're making sure we have the appropriate amount of smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors. We're making sure there's no minor leaks, anything. So my guys are probably going to find some stuff that I am not talking about here or anticipating. So you might need to spend a grand or two just to button stuff up before we are able to actually place that tenant in there for $750. In addition... I ran the numbers here based upon you keeping the existing tenant who's only paying six seven or five seventy five. That's way way under market, right? We could be bringing in another hundred seventy five dollars a month, but I don't think it makes sense for you to immediately remove that tenant or immediately try to jack their rent up because if you do that, that tenant is probably going to move out, right? You want to reduce your artificial turnover as much as humanly possible when you're investing in these multifamily properties. So with the property cash flowing as it is, my recommendation would be to keep that existing tenant in there. You know, maybe sign them up on the same the same amount for the first 12 months. And then if he turns out to be a pretty decent tenant after that, we try to increase the rent 50 bucks, 25 bucks, something like that. Slowly get that tenant up to market rent of 750. Because if you try to go too high, you try to get too greedy too quickly, I'm not saying I feel bad for the tenant and I'm trying to help the tenant out. Just believe me, it's not that. It's not that at all. I don't, that's nothing I think about. It's all about the bottom line, but I think you're going to cost yourself more money. In an attempt to try to make more money, I see investors do that. And what happens? The tenant says, ah, screw this. They move out. And, you know, that tenant's been there a long time. That unit looked a little old and raggedy. We probably need to spend five, six grand totally getting that thing ready to rent to somebody else at 750 So as an investor, I'm never in a hurry to remove an income stream just so I could throw five or six thousand dollars at it. That's how that's how I feel on that. So know that you may have a few grand you got to spend to get this thing rent ready for the other unit and know later down the road on the table we got at least hundred and seventy five dollars a month in additional income we could be bringing in. Now Quickly, I want to go to a word from Ohio Cash Flow. They're a turnkey company operating out of Toledo, and they are the sponsor of today's show. Then after that, Vincent, we're going to get into the second property, which is a high-end B-class duplex. G'day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cash Flow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Hey, Vincent, welcome back. Now, I know you have $40,000 cash. So where this property is currently listed uh, unless you're able to come up with a little bit of more money, you wouldn't be able to pick it up at the current list price. But I don't think you should anyway because I think it's overpriced. But I do think it's a great property. And if we can get a little discount off that list price, I think we can do some damage here. Now, the property, 1702 Prior Avenue, Cleveland Heights, Ohio, 44118, listed for $199,000. But right here, I want to bring your attention to this right here. 143 days on the market, okay? That is a very, very long time for an occupied rental property to be sitting on the market here in Cleveland. These properties are flying off the shelves. So what that tells us is that 199 the market is telling this particular seller, hey, man, 
That's too much money. You're asking for too much money, and I think it is. I, I think that's way too much money. Well, not way too much. It's pretty close. Uh, but I think we need to get a substantial discount. I would like to see you pick this up at $180,000, okay? $180,000. That sounds like a lot because it's $20,000 less than the current list price, but that's really only a 10% discount. You know, you go to a store, 10% off, that's fairly common. If this property was just listed four days ago, like the previous one I just told you, I would say, hey, that might be a waste of time. I don't think that seller would do that. Maybe we're, we're barking up the wrong tree. But 143 days on the market, you'd be surprised when a property sits on the market that long, how open the seller is to actually coming off of their price. This particular seller, this is a flipper, I'm assuming. It looks to me like they bought this thing in like completely just destroyed shape uh, back in 2018. And I'm assuming they had a huge point of sales uh, violation report that they had to uh, put, you know, 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars into it. If I had to guess, based upon how cheap they bought the house, they actually bought the house for under thirty thousand dollars. Only reason something like that would happen is if there's an insane amount of repairs, because the value is definitely here in this particular neighborhood. So because of all that, I would assume if we pick this up at one hundred eighty thousand dollars, like I want you to. I would assume it's going to come point of sale violation clear. It's already occupied. It's got tenants in there. So I'm assuming a, a bunch of stuff's been done to it. And you don't have to worry about any of your point of sale violation. Um, the listing agent hasn't written anything in the listing about that. But I wouldn't want you to pick this up if you had to assume those point of sale violations. And seeing as a gigantic renovation just took place two years ago, I see no reason for the seller to be able to clear those out. Now, if you're watching this and you're like, what in the hell is point of sale violations? These are very, very common in the Cleveland market. Not in Cleveland itself. So our previous property, 2045 West 101st, we don't have any point of sale violations to worry about this because this is in Cleveland itself. But this property is in in Cleveland Heights and at Cleveland Heights like a bunch of the other suburbs in Cleveland they have these crazy point of sale requirements I don't want to jump into the weeds with you right now and burn up a bunch of time in your video so what I've done is I've already made a highlight video about point of sale violations it's in the show notes below after this video I want you to go ahead and click that to take a look at what I'm talking about when I talk about these point of sale violations I break it all down and that's a nice video you might want to bookmark anytime you're looking at the Cleveland market. You might want to check that out because outside of Cleveland Heights, we also got Euclid has point of sale, Garfield Heights. Uh, Lakewood had point of sale for a very long time. They got rid of it, but I believe they are bringing the point of sale back for duplexes in Lakewood. So anybody out there who's interested in investing in the Cleveland market, check out the point of sale video because that's incredibly important. Now, Let's take a look at this property. It's currently occupied. Before we get to the pictures, let me tell you the rent roll. Each unit, 3-1. One. one unit is rented for $950. The other is rented for $1,250. So this thing is bringing in $2,200 a month or $26,400 a year. Now let's go to the pictures. The pictures are going to show you uh, what it looked like prior to the landlord putting those tenants in there. So everything looked pretty nice. Nice, solid hardwoods. And this, just like our previous property, this is another side-by-side. -side. Look, this is a great-looking bathroom. And this is a side-by-side. -side. So what we have is space. We have a huge space. Each of these units has three beds instead of your traditional up, down, two that we see so often in the Cleveland market. In addition, we don't have shared laundry. These tenants are completely separate from one another. This is very helpful in getting your turnovers down. That's why I like this property so much. What would the numbers look like with our current rent? Well, we're going to anticipate 110 for repairs, maintenance, vacancy, and non-payment CapEx. Taxes in Cleveland Heights. Cleveland Heights is a very high tax rate, so we do have to pony up 454 a month. Insurance should be about 100 bucks a month. Again, in the show notes below, my farmer's franchise. We want to quote any landlord out there who's watching today's show. We want to quote out insurance premiums on your policies of any property in your portfolio, no matter what state it's in, because I believe we will be able to beat what you're currently paying. That is what we do. Water and sewer should be 150 lawn care, same as before, 48 or 44 a month. Property management. This is a cool thing about buying a nice high-end property like this. The rent that it's bringing in is $2,200 a month, but you'll notice we cap property management at $100 a unit. So property management is only going to be $200. Here's the other thing, too. 
these units are both very, very similar, okay? One is bringing in $12.50 a month in rent. The other is only bringing in $9.50. That's a difference of $300. Bucks. So you could theoretically add another $300 onto this eventually, bringing in $2,500 a month in rent. That's, of course, going to make your numbers look better. And on top of that, the big icing on the cake there is your property management still only going to be $200 a month. You don't have to pay us $250 a month. We reward you for buying nicer, higher-end properties that are going to attract nicer, higher-quality tenants like this because a $1,250 a month tenant is a lot easier for us as a property management company to deal with than like a $650 tenant in a lower-quality neighborhood. You know, my most popular show, our most popular show here on Holton Wise TV is the Tennis from Hell show. I'll throw a couple episodes of that in the show notes below. Anybody out there who thinks that a $1,250 a month tenant is the same as a, a C or D class tenant is out of their goddamn mind. And if you don't believe me, just watch the content on the Tennis from Hell show. So all that said, though, running it back to the chart, I anticipate... We should spend on average twelve seventy eight a month, which brings our NOI average to nine twenty two a month or eleven thousand sixty four a year. If you picked it up at one hundred eighty thousand, that'd be a six point one five cap. And the mortgage down payment, I know you have forty thousand dollars to work with, Vince, but this would be forty six thousand two hundred fifty dollars. I'm assuming. You know, you gave me a budget, but I'm assuming you're able to scrounge up another 6,200 bucks uh, if the deal is good, like this one is. So that'd leave you a mortgage 130, 138,000, which would be a $703 mortgage payment, leaving you a net cash flow after your mortgage average of 219 a month or 2,628 a year, which is a 5.7% cash on cash return, which does not sound great. But remember. There's another $300 on the table because one of the units is rented $300 lower than it needs to be. In addition, these are going to be some nice low-key high-end tenants. I highly doubt you're going to deal with turnovers very, very often. So I do really like this particular property. And if you're interested in purchasing this, like I said, I think it's incredibly important that we try to get that price down, though, right? That 200000 I think that's that's too much. That's too rich for our blood here. But I think we get this thing at 180000 It is a solid deal. Or perhaps you want to go with the C-Class investment because it was a lot cheaper and you're only going to need to bring about $20,000 to the table. Whichever one you want to do, if you want to do any of these two, Vincent, just send us an email, sales at holtonwise.com, and we will write that offer for you. We're going to want to make these contingent on several things, both going to want to make them contingent on a home inspection, third-party home inspection. You know, I, I ran through everything with you here today, but you need to pay a third-party home inspector to go through the property with a fine-tooth comb to make sure there are no issues we are unaware of. There's nothing wrong with buying a property that's not perfect. No property is going to be perfect, especially when you're buying really old properties like we have here in this market. But you need to know the condition that you're buying your properties in. You're not going to find a perfect property ever. Every property has problems, but I want you guys to know what problems your property has and then pay the appropriate price. In addition, you're using financing, so we're going to put an appraisal contingency in there. We're going to make it contingent on the property appraising for or we're going to make the sale contingent on the property appraising for at least the purchase price or higher. That's how you safely invest in an out-of-state market. Those folks out there losing a bunch of money, like I'm sure you guys have all seen my content on the Morris Invest scam allegations. If not, those are going to be in the show notes below as well. We've got people claiming upwards of $25 million was lost in those alleged scams. That's what people are saying. Some people are estimating that. A big thing that a lot of those investors did is they bought those properties cash. They didn't get inspections. They didn't get appraisals. Nothing wrong with buying a property that needs work, but if you think you're buying a perfect property or you think you're buying a property worth 80000 but it turns out it's really only worth 40000 man, you're, you're SOL. You're screwed. So the inspection is there to protect your ass. The appraisal is, is actually there to protect the bank's ass because the bank's putting in 75%. You're only putting in 25%, and they ain't going to let you lose their money. So the fact that the bank's looking out for their own butt does nothing but help 
your butt. In addition, we'll also want to make the Cleveland Heights property contingent on a clear point of sale violation report from the seller. That's all I've got for you today, Vincent. Everybody else out there who's watching this, if this one-on-one -on -one deep dive or this one-on-one -on -one analysis that I've just done with Vincent is of interest to you, if you'd like to work with me and my team to help you build your real estate investment portfolio, just send us an email, sales at holtonwise.com, and we will get you more information on how you can work with us, or you can go to holtonwise.com, click the property search tab, and you can watch one of our two shows. This is the MLS Search Analysis Show. We'll give you information on the cost of these products, or you could just watch the Investment Properties for Sale show, which we send to all of our clients every day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Those are the properties we are selling here at Holton Wise. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, hold and wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and RentTech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, 
real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.